All right. Um, so, hi. Uh, my name is Sarah, and this is the Stack Upon project I made. It's a game called Starbots. Uh, for, so first, I'll just show you how it works. It's a multiplayer game. Um, and so I am player one, so I am this red robot. And then I have three other players in the audience who are these other robots. Uh, and so then when I hit start, the game starts. And we just had to collect these stars to win the game. <laughs> um, and we kind of just ran around doing that. And sorry the screen's a little small on here. I don't, I'm not sure why, but... Yeah, you can see all the scores going up on the side. Um, and it looks like the purple bot's winning pretty hard. Uh, <laughs> and it's a timer for 60 seconds. And you can pause it. And then you can hit play again. And we're all playing again. So uh, I wanted to make a very simple, fun game. Uh, and you can you know, challenge your friends. Maybe you're having some sort of dispute. Instead of rock, paper, scissors, you can be like, who wins at Starbots? Uh, <laughs> So, keep doing this, and um, I'm having stars be randomly generated two per second from the ceiling, um, and they bounce. Uh, they have a hundred percent bounce, so they keep bouncing up and down. If any make it to the floor, you'll see. <laughs> there you go. And um, yeah, just along anywhere on the x-axis, they're being randomly generated every second. All right, and oh, I won. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and so now the game's over, and we can still run around, but uh, no, no more stars are being made. Um, and you can reset the game and play again. So I want to talk a little bit about how this was made. Um, uh, so I used uh, the Phaser game engine and also um, Socket.io to make it multiplayer. Uh, and so basically the Phaser game engine, you know, creates this little like game window that inside of HTML is rendered when you uh, start the browser, and um, then when you connect to the page, uh, the socket is made to the server, and as the page renders the game object, it like sends its <laughs> stop fighting, guys. <laughs> it sends it sends a message, you know, to the server saying like I'm making a new player, and if there's more already four players present, you get put in spectator mode. But if there isn't four players present, it creates a little robot for you. And uh, there's a few game states that uh, happen. There's ready, play, pause, and end. And we're in end state right now. Um, and we we're ready state at the beginning where we're all floating in the air. And you can only move around when you're in play or end state. And, um, and so every single movement is uh, kind of like synced up for this. So every, all the movements get sent to every single person, every single socket connected because Every single time you like maybe hit an arrow key to do a movement, uh, that actually sends first sends a message through your socket to the server, which then emits a message to all other sockets saying, move purple robot left to right. Um, so yeah, that's my project. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>